Hello everyone, I'm Mike and today we will be showing you how to add power to a USB extension cord or splitter. You'll need scissors or a cable stripper, insulating tape, a soldering iron and some solder, a USB cable that you no longer need, a USB extension cord or splitter, and if you have some pliers and liquid flux, it will help you during this quick process. Finally, you will need a forward direction diode, like the 1N4001. It's something that you can buy at your local electronics store for no more than 10 cents or find in one of your dead electronics around the house. Let's start by grabbing the male connection of our USB extension cord or splitter and measure the distance to match the other USB cable with no end connection. Then we can remove the rubber coating that protects the wire and cut the red and black wire. Grab the cable you just cut, feel free to add some plugs to the wires and then solder the diode pointing towards the opposite direction of the male connector. Once again we are soldering the diodes pointing from the male connection to the female connection. The diode position matters. It should have a grey ring near the cathodes, and that ring points towards the direction that the current can flow. When we're done, we will solder the red wire from the USB cable with no end connection to the diode's cathodes, and all the three black wires together. To make sure the red and black wires don't touch, which is something you definitely don't want, you can either add some good insulating tape or do what we did and add some hot glue to insulate the whole thing. When you're done, put insulating tape all around and you can heat it a bit to make sure it's firmly in place. Finally, let's label all the connections. We are going to use blue to the connection that is supposed to go to the computer and red to the one that is supposed to connect to an extra USB charger or just another USB port. Never connect the blue one directly to the charger unless you are using it just for charging a device and not connecting it to another device like a PC or for data transferring. This is how the cable looks right now, it's a huge extension cable which normally would be charging devices extremely slowly. And it is now time to test our new cable, first we connect just the blue end to the computer and we will see how it would normally charge. So it's charging slowly at about 0.3 amps, this would be the normal behavior without the extra power. For the sake of testing we are using an ISIG as it needs even more power to charge, first only connected to the computer, still only charging at about 0.4 amps, so really slow. Let's now connect the red USB port to an external charger and let the blue one in the computer. This is a 1 amp charger, the cable is really long so there should be still some loss, but we are now charging our device at 0.9 amps and can still use the device on the computer while it's charging decently. And this was it for today, we hope this is useful, thanks for watching and we wish you a wonderful day. See you next time!